so I'm here with Nazir Zabari from Luxembourg House of Financial Technology, or more affectionately known as The Loft. Today we got this grand opening of this uh, building, the House of Beautiful Startups. space, yeah. Thank you, yeah, we're, we're quite chuffed about it. You know, I've been around the world a bit, and uh, yeah. I think even by international standards, it's not bad going, actually. Yeah, a huge inauguration, lots of dignitaries, royal family, prime minister, everyone who's everyone in Luxembourg and beyond seems to be here, including you guys, which is fantastic. Well, look, thank you so much for having us. Well, our mission statement is really to ensure the future competitiveness of Luxembourg's finance industry, because digital is fundamentally core to ensuring that the larger institutions in particular remain at the front of their field. And so that's really what we work around. And that is also why the industry here in Luxembourg so much likes becoming part of the loft because it's really giving them access to this international network, which then gives them access to solutions that are developed by startups from Japan, yep. from Korea, from China. So a platform like The Loft is really something unique. Uh, for That's the why industry. it's so important. And that is exactly fulfilling the objective that we gave The Loft, namely provide the industry with the solutions that they need in order to remain competitive. That's really kudos to, to Nazir and really hats off for pushing that far and, and, and saying, look, you know, we can be competitors, quote unquote, in terms of getting the, ne you know, the next big fintech out, you yeah, know, yeah, in yeah. our country. But right. it's much better to, to work together and, uh, and, that's and create what's really kind of strike me about the, the sort of mission statement, I guess, around Loft. It's not just about fostering innovation domestically. It's also about, you know, educating people, but also sort of reaching out and bridges with other sort of fintech initiatives, if it's Singapore or China or Japan, etc. All right, so I am here with Pierre Gremenia, the Luxembourg Finance Minister. I know you're very excited to be here. We've had a tour of the various floors, and there's a lot of exciting companies, international companies, that have already set up within the incubator space. It seems to be, from a fintech perspective, evolving into this really significant base to sort of set up and grow your business. Well, Johnny, it's two years yeah. uh, since we started the loft, uh, and we worked on it maybe six months before. If we want to be successful in the field of fintech for Luxembourg, we need to have the private sector and the public sector on board and have players of the private sector from different sizes, from different areas to come together and the public sector being the booster, the one who gives uh, also the intellectual incentive to be together. And I think uh, we really managed to do that. It really goes to show what I've witnessed here. I've been here two years. We set this up last April. It's only been a year. And just the momentum, the events that go on in this little place around fintech um, and the way that the industry has really embraced it is incredible. There's this belief here that we can help drive a country forward, which is phenomenal, right? And it's very inspiring. Because how often in your life can you make a difference to a country? Right? 